Okay, the other day I ordered uh, two halves of a Cocoa 2 from two different sellers and I just got them together in the mail. Hopefully they mate. So here's the first one. I opened it, but I haven't looked at it. Okay. Ooh. That is in rough shape. That board is in rough shape, just like in the picture. But that's what I was getting. Don't need the board so much. Made the case. You see, it's it's broken here. I think somebody ripped out the RF can. Um, parts have been removed. This is uh, definitely you know. The, Power switch is broken. Definitely a donor board. It was used for something else. And I might take some nice sweet parts out of this. Okay, here's the top half. I've already taken it out. And it looks to be in good condition. Unfortunately, it doesn't match well with the bottom half. I think I still can use it. Um, the keyboard posts line up the mounting holes. Sorry, the screw posts line up with the hole. Um, what doesn't line up, well, even the cartridge port lines up, what doesn't line up is the back. So either I find a case that fits this bottom half or I just I cut out and modify the back of this. Will I commit sacrilege? I don't know yet. So I just finished cleaning the bottom part of the case and the top part of the case. There are two different uh, parts that were never meant to meet in the wild. And I made them fit. I had to modify the case a little bit. This transformer wasn't working when it first got here. Um, primary winding, there was no resistance. Luckily, it was just the wire uh, that's kind of, that came to one of these terminals. So I was able to strip it, repair it, put some shrink tubing on it, and now there's voltage. So I wanna you know, double check and make sure that stuff's coming into the board as it should. So the transformer should have about minus 10. It's center tap, so around minus 10, around minus 10 over here, great. And we should have uh, positive, let me see, DC voltage, uh, like plus minus 12 over here on 15 and 16 where the salt chip goes. Minus 13, plus 13, that's very good. Okay, that shouldn't have been there, right? If I turn it on, plus 13, minus 13, if I turn it off. No, maybe that's just residual. No. Not sure what's going on there, but let's put in uh, what I call the pepper board. It's a salt chip replacement. Okay. And so pin three should have five volts when it's on. It's not on, that's good. So let's do that. Okay. 5 volts DC, which means, uh, at least on the RAM here, I, th I think pins 1 and 8 should have 5 volts as well. So, there we go. I'm sorry, 1 and 8, not 16. Nice. Okay. So, that should take a while to die down because of that guy. There we go. Okay, this is the first good test. I'll show some pictures later on of you know more or less what I did to get the case this clean and how I modified it. So far, so good. It's a great test.
you know, the results of retrobriting for three hours in the bright Florida sun. These are two halves from different machines. And I think they're different types of plastic. And uh, from different, you know, model Coco 2s that was super yellow. And just after three hours of retrobriting, I mean, it's it looks almost brand new. These are excellent results. I'm very happy how this came out, you know, with not a lot of effort. So this is going to look uh, really good. This retro resurrection is going to look nice.